This week, I got this great question from Cindy. Cindy asks, what do you do to motivate your virtual assistants? It's a great question. If you're already working with a virtual assistant or several virtual assistants and you're looking for some great ways to motivate your team, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you how you can motivate your virtual assistant and your team so that you all grow together so that you have a healthy, long-lasting, productive relationship. If you're new around here, my name is Jen Lehner. I'm a digital marketing and systems strategist, and I have helped hundreds of entrepreneurs, solo professionals, solopreneurs, coaches, course creators to drastically scale their businesses by outsourcing the smart way. So how do you motivate a virtual assistant? Well, how do you motivate anybody who you're working with, whether they're in the office next door or they're halfway around the world? We all pretty much need to do the same things. A lot of it is common sense, but it's good to be reminded and look at this checklist and ask yourself, am I doing these things? Number one, providing the right tools. So it kills me. I run into so many people who are more than happy to spend 10, 20, $30,000 for a coach, but then they are just hell bent on not paying for that MailChimp upgrade. <laughs> like they're only gonna use MailChimp if it's free. So that's not serving you or your business. And it's definitely not serving your VA well, if this is your mindset, because you want your VAs to have the best tools available that you can afford reasonably in your business so that they can do the job well. That means if you need to upgrade and add them to your Google business suite, then that's what needs to happen. Or if you need to add them as a user to your Canva account, then that's what needs to happen. But you want to make sure that your VAs have access to the right tools because it's really frustrating for anybody. If you're sitting down trying to do work and you don't have the right tools or you run out of memory or you constantly get error messages. So number one, have the right tools. Number two, Having a growth mindset. What is a growth mindset? As it relates to a virtual assistant, it's having a mindset about their growth, their growth within your company and the growth of your company. It's having an eye on the horizon and saying, okay, you know, here's where we are. Here's where I'd like for us to be. And here's where I see you over the course of a month or a year or five years. This is where I see you and your potential. This is the potential I see in you. And I think you can do it and let's work together to get you there. Number three, recognition. Who doesn't like to be recognized? A little recognition goes a long way, right? So if it's a birthday, shout out your VA on social media and say happy birthday and a few words about how appreciative you are for your VA's help. You can celebrate work anniversaries. Yay, we're celebrating our second year working together. And then you can maybe list, you know, five of your favorite attributes that this VA brings to your business. Then there's wacky holidays. Do you know there's actually a national or international VA day? There's a hashtag in everything. So you can celebrate your VA for VA day or VA appreciation day, whatever it's called. And then there's other days like that, administrative help day, executive assistant day, that sort of thing. Looking for ways throughout the year to really surprise and delight your virtual assistant and to recognize him or her. Also, when your virtual assistant does something really amazing, like anticipate your next move and then has a piece of content that you weren't expecting waiting for you or just has a great idea, is there an opportunity for you to share that with your audience? You could do it in an email. You could do it on a live stream. If that doesn't quite fit in with your business, you know, just to recognize your VA on the team meeting, maybe there's only two VAs and you on the team meeting to just say, hey, everybody, I want to show you what Cindy did today. That goes a long way and it makes people feel so good, so appreciated. Number four, build trust. So 
the sooner you trust each other, the sooner that your VA is going to feel motivated to do great work and to stay with you for the long term. But how do you build trust? Well, I did a whole video just all about that. Click here to check it out. But the bottom line is trust is a two-way street and we need to make good on any promises that we made when we hired our VAs and just to be there and show up as the person uh, that they expect us to be as the CEO that we are striving to be. Trust is so, so important. Number five, communication is everything. So keeping an open line of communication across multiple platforms is really a good idea. For example, we communicate via Voxer, we communicate on Trello, we communicate through email, we have weekly team meetings, and we have this fabulous daily check-in form, which I've talked about in other videos, but it's basically a simple Google Doc that asks these three questions. Number one, what did you work on today? Number two, do you have any questions? And number three, do you have any suggestions? Just having this shared document that we can communicate with each other back and forth on goes a long way for keeping the lines of communication open, which leads me to number six, feedback. So having all these places to communicate with your VA encourages your VA to communicate with you and gives you an opportunity to give feedback. So feedback doesn't always have to be constructive feedback. Feedback can be praise. Feedback can just be information or feedback can be constructive criticism. And when it's done well, when you do it with grace and with the right tone, then this feedback goes a long way towards motivating your virtual assistant because your virtual assistant now has a better idea of what your expectations are. Otherwise, it's like working blindfolded. Do you like to work without feedback? We all need feedback. If I make a cake for my family, which really is a terrible example because I really rarely make cakes for my family, but let's say I made a cake for my family. If everybody just sat there quiet, I would feel terrible. And I definitely would not be motivated to make another cake. So number seven, share your long-term goals and the big picture vision that you have for your company, which this ties back into number two, growth mindset. But I just want to expand on it a little bit. So it's incredibly unmotivating. It's not motivating. You Imagine if you're on a really long car ride with someone and they never tell you where the heck you're going. Oh boy, that is going to be the longest, most miserable car ride ever if you just have zero idea of where you're trying to go. So if you can get your VA on board with your big picture, get your VA excited about what it is you're trying to create and watch how much that's going to motivate your virtual assistant. You know, a virtual assistant, no matter what you've hired your virtual assistant for, maybe your VA is simply doing some light bookkeeping, or you only have a VA who's doing some research on LinkedIn for you. And that's the only job that your VA has. Well, that's okay. You can still bring that VA into the conversation about what the big picture is. For example, you're working on doing this LinkedIn research because what we're going to do with that is this. And then with this, we're going to build this. We're going to do this next big thing because everybody, will, everybody, it's human nature. We all want to feel like we are part of something bigger than ourselves. And so let your VA have a part in that. Let your VA understand what your big picture is, even if you think it's irrelevant for the job that he or she is working on at the moment. Okay, numbers eight, nine, and 10, we're gonna kind of put those together. And that is bonuses, profit sharing, and surprises. So bonuses, we all know what a bonus is, but how motivating if you say to your VA, hey, we're going to try to grow our email list by 100. And if we do that, you're going to get a bonus of whatever you fill in the blank. It doesn't have to be anything big. But again, it adds a sense of 
like competition with oneself. It adds a, a sense of excitement. It just makes the job a little bit more fun. I remember a very long time ago, my first job was making cold calls for a nonprofit agency. And um, at around the same time, I learned that uh, it takes about 10 no's to get to a yes. So I had this number 10 in my head. So I was sort of like, go ahead, tell me no, tell me no, tell me no, tell me no. I never was upset by those no's because I knew after 10 of them, I would get a yes. And guess what? It really kind of worked that way. So I don't really know where that comes into the picture as it relates to bonuses, but it was sort of like a goal. Okay. So 10, I needed to get 10 calls and then do another 10 and then do another 10. Okay. So I had this number. It was kind of a goal rather than a bonus, but my employers at the time said, if you get X number of people to participate in this program that you're calling them about, we're going to give you, I don't remember what they gave me, but they was, I was so motivated. It was like, yes. So bonuses make everything more fun and you can get creative with it. It doesn't have to be a dollar amount. It could be an Apple watch. It could be some AirPods. It could be, you know, a gift certificate to Sephora, whatever. Think about where you can motivate your VAs by just make spicing it up, like it, make it a little bit more fun with bonuses, profit sharing. So profit sharing is like bonuses, but this is more like you're in a big launch, okay? You're getting ready to launch your big program and you have your good, better, and then your stretch goal, okay? The impossible goal. So you can sit down and say, if we hit our good goal, you're gonna get you know, 2% of our net profits. If we hit our better goal, 5%. And if we hit our stretch goal, we're gonna party and you're gonna get you know, 10% or whatever it is. It's up to you, okay? It could be as little as like $50 bonus, $100 bonus, and like a $500 bonus. Or it could go into, if you're doing percentages, it could be, you know, it could go into the hundreds and the thousands. It's really up to you. But talk about feeling a sense of ownership in somebody's program, in somebody's, sorry, in somebody's company. If I literally have a vested interest in your company succeeding, an actual monetary interest, and you hitting your revenue goals, oh, heck yeah, I'm going to really help you hit those revenue goals because I'm going to get rewarded for it. So that's just something to think about. And then finally, surprises. Who does not love a surprise? And these are fun things that you can do for your VA when your VA least expects it. You know, not during the holidays, but rather February when nothing is going on. So out of the blue on a cold February day or warm, if they're in the Philippines, a rainy February day in the Philippines, you send a bouquet of roses or a cake for their whole family, or just, you know, some surprise gift card that just says, Hey, thinking of you, where can you fit in these little surprises? Sending something snail mail, like a little care package from wherever you live. Maybe you live in Denmark. Maybe you live in Oklahoma, I don't know, but putting together like a little sampling of the, some of your favorite things in your local area and shipping that off to your VA. What a wonderful, motivating, thoughtful gesture. In a few days, I'm going to be opening up the doors to my signature system called Front Row CEO, which shows you how to hire your perfect match virtual assistant, somebody who's going to be with you for years, who's going to help your business grow exponentially. This is a proven system. If you want more information, go to frontrowceo.com. And of course, leave me a, uh, any kind of questions or comments that you have underneath this video. I hope you found these tips on how to motivate your VA helpful. If you want more tips like this, make sure and hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you never miss a training and I'll see you next time.